Look, I thought the basic skills were pretty good in a, in a number of areas. Um, tackling was, was outstanding. Uh, our contact work, clearing contact um, when we had the ball was outstanding. To create those opportunities needs, uh, needs some passing skills and realignment. Uh, but obviously a, a couple of missed opportunities when we, when we did get there. Uh, and, and sometimes that's what the defender does. I thought Rob Carney did really well when, when Stu went through. Just um, step back... Uh, when Stuart was about to pass and Stuart finishes them off in every training session um, but we all make errors and we certainly uh, played some outstanding rugby at times today we caused a very good side um, problems through the set piece through the defence and through what we did in attack uh, and just obviously disappointed we're sitting here with, with not one more, two more or even three more tries on the scoreboard which would have made it a very interesting game going the last 10 minutes. Is there anger in the dressing room? No. No, I feel I, we're, we're very proud of the way the team played. Uh, and there's a realisation that we've got more work to do. We are, I don't know, a couple of years or three or four years behind Ireland um, in terms of what they've done and achieved and their experiences over the last few years. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we have, when we have these experiences that are tough, that uh, it goes into the, our work to improve. Um, we'll play Ireland next year in the Six Nations and we'll play them in 18 months in the World Cup and we've got to make sure that we're a better team the next two times we play them. Do you see them as the standard bearers in this championship? They're, they're one, one of the teams, yeah. They're obviously uh, they're an excellent side. England are an excellent side. Wales have shown they're an excellent side. I think France will do very well tonight as well. It's, it's, it's a brilliant championship. You, you, you get really good games, you get competitive games, you get different styles, but the effort that goes in and the quality of game, the quality of um, opponent is, is really high. And I think we, we are, we're proud of how the players played, um, frustrated that it didn't lead to either a closer game or obviously a victory. Yeah, look, the, f the first job is <clears throat> is causing opposition problems when they normally um, are able to dictate their possession, and we, we did that. We knew every, every ruck was going to be um, tough for them, and you could tell it was. We turned them over a number of times. Uh, I think our scrum got better and better, strong, really strong in the second half. Our line-out um, defence was very good, so, so that was pleasing. Uh, creating opportunities is the first part, and then finishing them off is the second part when you have the ball. And we did create a number of opportunities. And the more we're in those positions, the, the more it becomes second nature for our players to, to score. It was, I think, it was in the sense that one mistake was they responded very well. Like that was night and day compared to Cardiff. Like that was a a team performance right from the start. That we were committed, focused, we were taking the game to the opposition, uh, and kept going right to the end. Our fitness was outstanding again. It's a shame that Tim stretching over for a try. We didn't get seven points at the end um, because the, 
the way the players stuck to their tax, task defensively and then getting the ball back and going to Ireland was, was great to see. Will Ireland with Islam, do you think? I don't know. Would it, you mentioned how tight this Six Nations is. How much of an achievement would it be for Ireland to win the Grand Slam considering how close the, all the teams are? Oh, it would be huge. And we obviously know the, the away games and home games are, are something that are are hard to do. Uh, Ireland managed to get an away win against France in the 82nd minute. Uh, so it would be just on its own terms, winning winning at Twickenham would be a huge achievement. To do it uh, on the back of four games in a row, that that would be fantastic. Obviously, there's there's not been that many Grand Slams in Ireland like, like Scotland over the, the last 100 years, so it would be a huge achievement for Irish rugby. Nice music for us to... <laughs> to think about the Grand Slam. <laughs> Thank you. Just on that note, we'll move on to the 10 p.m. bar. We'll thank for the music going to Lutz. Yeah, you've got to come out, mate. It's another time to get away from home. Here we go, on the way. John, what's your assessment of that 80 minutes? Um, I don't want to say it, because I think you get what you deserve in rugby, but um, I thought the, the scoreline didn't maybe show the, the, the competition in the game. Um, I was talking to Greg on the way in. I felt like they had probably had three chances and an intercept, and they took all of them. And we probably had four chances, clean, clean, one, uh, two on one chances, and we took one. So I think that's that's for me. I haven't seen obviously not seen the game back, um, but for me that's the difference today. The frustration that you managed to walk yourself in through, through playing some really nice rugby and opening Ireland up to get in those positions and then basic skills like they do at the key. Yeah, they're a very good team. They're a fantastic side, uh, and we knew, we believe they. You know, when you get chances, you have to take them, especially away from home, especially against a defence as good as theirs. So we, yeah, we created those chances. You put yourself in positions um, to take them, and today the passes didn't quite go to hand. But you know, it's frustrating on the one hand, but also encouraging that we created those opportunities. Can you kept playing right to the end. Did you take any? Um, I think the spirit is always there, and I think there'll be all, there'll be a lot more to take from the game than just spirit. So, um, look, yeah, there's, there's the side's not going to you're not going to pack up tools and, and stop because of the scoreline. So, um, yeah, look, we we didn't we didn't capitalise today. I think we didn't convert our chances, and that's I guess the difference. John. Thanks, John. Well done. Awesome. Face him against the first part.